Hi everybody, welcome to episode 9 of House of a Thousand Doors, Family Secrets, Collector's Edition. So we are on the way of uh, rescuing, should I call this, our second ghost. We have uncovered uh, <laughs> all sorts of crazy things, a grave. Uh, anyway, let me see if he's still sitting there. Yeah, this guy uh, <laughs> used his wife's skull to build a statue and now he's regretting it. And we will have to return things to the uh, rightful order, I guess. So we got a key out of digging her grave. <laughs> Sounds a bit too much, but anyway, let's see what we have to do next now. Actually, I have no idea where I could use that key. There's lots of places, so let the game help me a bit. At least give me the correct location. Alright, so could I give her something? I don't think so. How about the kitchen? We already cut the uh, cheese there. Could we boil an egg? Maybe, I don't think. Firewood though. That could go here. Nice. And uh, I don't suppose a lighter would do it. Oh, it does. Okay, cool. Maybe. Do I have a handle? No, oh, no. Probably we have to boil the water. I bet. But... Uh, First, we have to uh, pour the hand, pour something in it, right? So, I <laughs> guess we're not doing anything anytime soon here. Alright, so what else can we do? Nothing in this room. Inside here again? Alright, so what am I missing? Is it inside the house? Yeah, okay. Should have guessed that. So, what can we do? Oh, that's where the key goes. All right, cool. Let's open this. And of course, we get another portrait. That's sort of the uh, main quest of the game, to complete a family tree of portraits. And the valve handle, we just saw where we should put that. Now, oh, we've uh, already read through that. But as always, you can pause and read at your own leisure, if you so wish. We also saw that. So anyway, let's go put that... Um, valve in its place which means back into the kitchen oh wait a sec uh okay what was it oh yeah that's the kitchen okay so uh the valve yeah let's place it right here and we get some water apparently which now we can boil. No? Yeah, we can. Right, so what now? Do I have to do something else? I can grab it. Okay, pot of boiling water. And I have a good idea where I could use that. There was something in the snow world that needed melting. Namely this bench here. Nice. So now we get a pickaxe. Hmm. There was somewhere I needed to use that, but I can't quite remember where that was. Game, help me out. Yeah, it's back. It's definitely not here, so... Oh, wait a sec. Can use the pickaxe on her? Now that is cruel. <laughs> you can see she's flashing the skull. That's the uh, thing that her husband used to sculpt her. Okay, let's uh, guess crack her skull. Nice. So... Now we definitely need to return that to its rightful place so that it can finally lay to rest. There you go. And there goes another happy ghost, I guess. And as uh, with the previous ghost, this world is now closed. So, I don't know what we should do next. Let's just go and put the portrait. Sometimes when we use those portraits, things happen. Once in a while, once every three or four portraits. 
Yeah, not this time though. So I guess we'll have to find another way to continue forward progressing. I have no idea where I should use any of these items. Game? Okay, it doesn't let me use the help, I don't know why. Is something happening? Because I can't seem to use the help here. I didn't expect you to be so brave and quick-witted. Everything has transpired as Gabriel said it would. Thank you for your help, young lady. My headache is gone and I feel much better. Alright, wow, thankfully. You didn't see it, but uh, I was kind of frantically searching off-screen what happened to the game. <laughs> I couldn't progress it. I couldn't find anything I couldn't use with clues. I had to click on that lady and uh, the game didn't think that was crucial to uh, convey, but in any case, now she's gone, and we can search her table one more time, I guess. So let's go ahead and find, as per usual, 15 items. First up, the hourglass. Pretty easy. Sticks out like a sore thumb. Then a mushroom. Is that a mushroom? No, that's a garlic, but that's a mushroom. Right next to it. Then a watermelon. That should be easy as well. Green and red. <laughs> Always sticks out. Garlic, we just saw that. Cool. Then a strawberry. Man, I'm finding everything really quickly here. Strawberry, huh? Strawberry should be easy to spot because it's red. There you are. A razor. Is that a razor? Yeah, it's an old-fashioned one, but still. Then a corkscrew. Oh, that's it. <laughs> it was right under my mouse uh, pointer. Nice. A coffee. Coffee pot, rather. There you are. A butterfly. Hmm, it could be a painting of a butterfly, because you can see, like, the deer here is a painting. Oh, what does it say? That's fresh butter. I could make butter toast. All right, let's do that. Do I obviously need that? Yeah, that's one of the items, a butter toast. All right. Uh, so the butterfly, maybe it's in here? I don't know, I can't... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Sitting on the flower, leisurely. A ruby that is hidden. It's not in here, else this would have turned black. All right, a ruby. And it's hidden. Why is it hidden? What location is inaccessible? There you are. See, when something is red, it's supposed to be tougher, but sometimes the game makes it easier because you know you have to move something. <laughs> All right, uh, a triangular key. Oh, that's what we will be getting definitely after this uh, puzzle scene is over. An earring. Oh, now that's gonna be that's gonna be difficult. An earring. I'm not supposed to spot something that small. Oh, is that an earring? Oh, okay, thank God. Found it. A gold brick. Should be easy. I mean, it's a gold brick. Where could it be hiding? Oh, there you are. Under the table. And finally, the letter L. Man, I have a chance to complete a puzzle without using help. I don't know if there's an achievement for that, but let's search a bit for the letter L. Because I wouldn't mind seeing what happens. Oh man, I think I'm going to have to resort to using the help. Because I cannot see it. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Alright, fine, did it. So do we get an achievement or something? No. We just get a triangular key. That's good. Let's go to the cellar. And open the next uh, drawer. There's a series of drawers down there. Each one requires a weirdly shaped key. 
We've already opened one, this one on the top. Now let's see what this one fits. Triangular. It's gotta be one of these two, not this one, but this one. All right. I need something that can cut this back. I mean, just the thing. Seed. Oh, that's gonna be used to uh, lure the bird. All right, cool. Just a seed? All right, I guess. Let's go to the bird then. Now the bird's upstairs. I remember that. Oh, and we have another hidden object scene. First though, let's give him something to eat. Come on, birdie. There's the heart. Nice. So now we could open this door, but before that, let's do another hidden object scene. Because maybe what we'll find here will be used inside here, so... Alright, 15 items. First on the list is a palette. Hmm, is that an artist's palette? Oh, okay. Do I need that? Or that? Yeah, I need a playing card. Okay, cool. I don't see the pa Oh, there it is. <laughs> Man, as soon as I say I don't see something, it's right under my mouse uh, pointer. Alright, a dragonfly. Oh, well, that's... That would not be easy. Oh, there you are. An elephant. That, on the other hand, should be easy. Because it's thick. Like an elephant should be. Oh, it's a paper elephant. There you are. The letter X. Now, that could be hiding in all kinds of spots. Oh, that antique clock is missing hands, it says. Alright, we'll be on the lookout. First of all, the letter X. No, I don't think I see anything. I see the letter S. Oh, there are the, uh, the pointers. Do I need that? Yeah, I need that. Cool. Maybe it's inside here, though. The letter X. No, it's not. Or inside here? Is that the letter X? Oh, come on. That was devious. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Whatever, developers. So, a uh, wait. I saw that. Where did I see that? There it is. Then, a service cap. Service cap? I'm not sure what that is. So, let's move on. The birdie. A birdie. I can see wings. Is that considered a birdie? No, that's a butterfly. Nope. No birdie. Moving on. A crown. Oh, I saw that. There it is. Then a shaving brush. That's a painting brush, right? Now let's look inside here first. Oh, there it is. Man, that's old school. <laughs> if you haven't seen an old movie, you won't know what that is. All right, next on the list, an eye. Inside the baseball glove here. All right, a horse. I think I saw a horse, didn't I? No, apparently not. Let's look inside the drawers real quick. Nope. Hmm. Okay, let's leave that be. A bell is the next thing. There it is. Tiny little bell and handcuffs. Okay. Handcuffs. This shouldn't be easy to spot. Can't hide them very well. And yet still, can't seem to find them. Right, well, let's take one help. Oh, that's the service cap, right? <laughs> okay. So it was a cap after all. All right, three items remain. A birdie, a horse, and the handcuffs. So two animals and handcuffs. Oh, there they are, the handcuffs. Cool. Hold them. So just the animals now. A birdie and a horse. 
Or maybe the birdie means something else. I don't know. Alright, let's use one help. No, oh, the horse, man. I knew I saw it. And the most difficult item on the list remains for last. A birdie. I mean, I took a birdie here. Now, is birdie something else? Am I not thinking of what a birdie is? Let's see. Yeah. See, I, I told you it would be something else. So it's uh, sort of a tennis-like game. All right, and we get the weights. There was some place we could use that. So before we go in here... Where was that place? Where are the weights? Ah, you know what? I don't know. Let's go for the thing we do know, which is placing the heart here. Has a note on it. It's weird. Must be sort of a musical room, maybe. Oh, okay. Hello there, miss. Hello, Kate. I'm so pleased to meet you. I've heard a lot about your exploits in the House of a Thousand Doors. I hope you will help me too. The workshop here where I restore paintings is behind this door. I was removing a layer of paint from an old canvas when flames burst out of the painting and consumed my workshop. Now I can't go in there. Maybe you could help me to find out what happened. In the meantime, I'll go find my bird. Alright, go find your bird. It's weird that she has a bird and a cat. <laughs> That's a, like, a, like a dangerous combination. I mean, seriously, if anybody has that combination, I want to learn what the thought process behind it is. Or if I'm mistaken, then maybe they're best friends. I don't know. Who know? Maybe the cartoons are have it wrong. In any case... um. Obviously, we need something to open this door. Something terrifying has happened inside there, it says. Probably a knife won't cut it. So let's look for other things. Ooh, notes. The piano is missing several keys. All right, we'll be back for that. How about the bird? Ooh, the cross-shaped key. Nice. Is that a log? Okay, we need a bird's head, apparently. That's just a beyond object. Right, anything else of interest here? No, we saw that. I wanted to uh, check out the painting, actually. Nope. How about a house here? Alright. That should make something work, but it doesn't. That's what the game tells us. Obviously, we have to place something here, like a wheel. And something flows through here. I don't see anything relevant in our inventory, so let's go away. We have the key and the weight. Let's find out where the, these two go. Oh, there's the scale. Alright, cool. So... Okay, now... I could use the scale to weigh something, it says. So probably we have more uh, weights to find or something. Who knows? For the time being, let's go use that key. Alright, now this should go... Is it the cross one? Yeah, so this should go here. Alright, we definitely get another portrait. Hopefully something more than that. A crowbar, now that is useful. What could I open with a crowbar? Hmm, interestingly enough, this area is still accessible, I don't know why. So what should we do next? We probably should go place the portrait. But I'm gonna leave that for the next episode. So thanks everybody for watching. 
kindly like and subscribe if you've enjoyed what you've seen up to now. And uh, remember, I'm uploading everything I do on bittube.tv and YouTube as well. You can find the relevant links in the description of this video. Alright, thanks again for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.